Why does each Protestant denomination, sect, and cult hold differing beliefs and doctrines, while each claims to have guidance from the Holy Spirit in interpreting the Scriptures? Okay, hang on, I want to stop right here. Yeah, we should pause there. Let's pause right there. First of all, I have I am not aware of any denomination that says that when they read the Bible, they are channeling the Holy Spirit for their hermeneutic and interpretation. Interpreting the scriptures is a thing that anyone can do, including unbelievers. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts and softens the heart to understand that it, it's true, that it is real, and to understand that Christ has died for you. But that doesn't have to do with interpretation. And let me give you an example. This has been a very controversial thing that I've said on this show before. And that is that Bart Ehrman, who is a atheist scholar, Greek scholar, and a Bible scholar, and has written many books attacking the Christian faith and attacking the, vali the validity of the Bible, historical validity of the Bible, Bart Ehrman is a wonderful Greek scholar in terms of knowing his Greek, and he can look at the text, he can read the text, and he can know exactly what the text says. It does not take the Holy Spirit for him to do that. He has done a lot of hard work, he has gotten degrees, and now he can look at the text and understand exactly what the text says. What is more, Bart Ehrman can look at the text and say, this is what Christians believe the text says. And he, I just saw a video with Bart Ehrman... Um, and he was talking to a Muslim about a passage, and the Muslim was saying, so this isn't in the original passage, and this is going to discredit Christians' belief in Trinitarianism. And Bart Ehrman's response was, no, 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 no. The doctrine of the Trinity is, is based on a ton of different scriptures. So, I mean, Bart Ehrman can even look at the scriptures and say, this is how, they are, this is how people are getting to this theological endpoint. What has not so happened... So he won't defend it as a believer, but he'll defend it as... Um, you need to accurately represent what somebody believes, right, and why they believe it. Now, and what Bart, why they believe it, what Bart, even if he doesn't agree, right. Now, what Bart Ehrman does not do is have the Holy Spirit come in and convict him of the truth of the scriptures. In other words, he's still an atheist. He does not believe there is a God, or that there he might believe there's a higher power, but right, definitely not the God of the Bible, kind of a thing. And he has lost his faith. He does not believe that Christ has died for him. That is a conviction that only the Holy Spirit can give, in my opinion. Right. Because the Bible, our conviction and Torah Resource Institute, our, we teach the languages, the same thing, that the, the Bible is in human language. It's in human language. It's like when Yeshua says to, in John 8, it tells us that Yeshua told some of these Jews that were hassling him, he says, before Abraham was, I am. And they picked up stones to throw at him. It's not that they didn't understand what he said. They understood exactly what he was saying. And they thought it was blasphemous. Right. So they understood the words of Yeshua. It wasn't like, oh, this guy's speaking Babel and we don't understand. They understood exactly what he's saying and they wanted to stone him for it. Right. Because they did not have the Ruach. Okay, so with all of so that... So you can interpret Scripture without the rock. One other point before we move on to the next part of that is that there are a, a lot of English translations also, and it's not so easy. To, I think we there's a, a little more uh, granularity we need to bring into it, which is not every Protestant denomination believes that you can just use any English translation. right. Right. I mean, we, we don't have to go very far. We can just look at the, any group that's a King James only, for example, you know, or any group that's an NIV. We use the NIV here. Or we use the Stern's <laughs> complete Jewish Bible. <laughs> you know, it could be that sort of thing. So Matt Powell uh, says Bart Ehrman is crazy. He's no he's not a scholar by any stretch of the imagination. I'm sorry. You are very incorrect. He's a top scholar. Yeah, he is a top scholar. And the fact he's a top scholar. And the way that you know that is you have other top scholars that debate him. Whether you think he's right or not. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and check out more videos from Messiah Matters. Mm -hmm.